Now that we've selected our database, before we start to use it, we need to match the fields. In other words, we have to make sure the fields that we use, since we brought in an outside database, we need to make sure the fields that we use in our database are the same ones that will be identified by Microsoft Word. So we want to go in and create the click on the next step. And we see here now from our database, uh, we, we have different options what to put into our letter. Okay, we have a address block, which is, we have here an address block, which is the, the address of the, of the uh, person who we're writing to. Uh, it's usually just as a formal letter, you usually put the address, the name and the address on top. So here we have, if we click on address block, we have a lot of different options on how that address block should, should look. Uh, we have the option to include the company name, or we have the option to put the first name, last name, uh, Mr. beforehand, and we can select all those different options. And here we have a preview of how the address is going to look. And then we would hit OK. It would go into our letter wherever our cursor is positioned. I click Cancel because I don't want to put the address block in just yet. What I want to do is I want to match up my fields, as I discussed before, and the way we do that is we go to more items and we see all of our fields listed here as long as we have on top selected database fields we see the fields the names that we created in our database so now I'm going to match them up with the names that Microsoft Word uses so we see in the last name there's nothing matched to the last name so there will be nothing will go into that field so I'm going to choose from my list of names contact last name and now Microsoft Word knows that any time I put in contact last name, it should go into it should it should pull the field of the last name. In other words, now the 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 database is is relational to the Microsoft Word field names. So I just click on each item that I have in my database, like city and state, and now it knows which information to pull up from my database. So I created my contact last name. Will 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 pertain to the Microsoft Word last name and the city and the state. In my database I had a a, uh, a amount of money that each person was going to be charged for the for that was mentioned into the into this particular letter. So there's not any specific field name for the amount of money so I create a unique identifier and I'm going to give it the name of my donation amount so now when I put it into my letter I can put in do the donation amount it will be associated with that unique identifier and all of these fields are going to go into where I have the red asterisk that's where the field names are going to be inserted